Hey everybody, I'm Andy the Kenworth guy. Thanks for Hey everybody, I'm Andy the Kenworth guy. Thanks for coming by the channel today. Sure good to see you and all your smiling faces here. Hey, we are out taking a look at a W900B here today. Let's see what this is all about. Okay, okay. So we are underneath some giant power lines. I think it's kind of a different location. Ideally, I wanted to get over by the canola fields there, which I will do some pictures in a few minutes. But I just thought, hey, there's a little pull off here, pull over and boom, look at that. I just love going to some different locations to showcase these trucks just to kind of show it off in a different environment. Looks great. So this obviously is a beautiful new W900B. This is sold to Jade Transport, based out of Winnipeg here. It's gonna be going into service in the next day or two. And uh, we just had it, we just had it uh, cleaned up there. We had a, somebody honking at me there. Just had it all cleaned up and uh, it rained. So it's a little dusty. Oh man, dang it. But beautiful, uh, beautiful setup. We just did a solid color on this one here, solid green. <coughs> and then we went with some vinyl striping on it after the fact. And uh, Larry, that's something that Larry came up with. It's kind of a cool, low profile. Looks like she wants to move and go make some money. I really like that design, it's kind of neat. So starting up front, like we always do, we got the Texas style bumper. So that is uh, right from the factory. And we have the watermelon lights on both corners. Big thank you to the guys at Shift Products. They did a pile of work to getting this truck ready. So I will showcase all of that as well, but uh, just didn't want to go another minute without mentioning Shift Products. We got the additional ribs on the grill. So you got a total of seven across the middle. We have the JW speaker headlights on the one side for better visibility at night. And I just got to say, I love how with the W9B, the size of this grill and that big mirror that you get right above the grill just looks really, really sweet. So this truck is sitting on a 244 inch wheelbase. It's kind of like your quintessential Canadian spec. We have a 13,200 pound wide track front axle with disc brakes. And we have the Alcoa polished rims. We did the polished battery box right here with the polished end caps. A big thank you to Rob and the crew over at Big Truck Detail. Check them out on Instagram. They bring the shine like nobody. It looks so good. We have the larger fuel tank on this side here. Seven inch straps with polished and the polished tank as well. Rob just takes the edge off. So like when I brought it off there, there was a little bit of kind of mung along the edge here. And when Rob gets to polishing these trucks, he just makes the mirror, mirror just, it's shiny, it's beautiful. Def tank right here with the cover as well. We have the shift products lights that are bunk mounted in the, flush mounted in the back of the sleeper. And then here is the deep drop class eight 
half fenders, as you can see. We have this heavy duty bracket up front. Sorry, I'm a little uh, tongue tied here today. I don't know, I, I was out golfing all day with a customer and uh, it's just been a long day. It's currently about eight o'clock at night here in Winnipeg. So just doing this video after hours. It's how I like to do it. It's magic hour. You know what that means? When the sun gets down low, the pictures look beauty. So I'm really pumped with how these pictures are gonna turn out. Maybe you've already seen them on my Instagram page on this truck because I normally give a few teasers before the video comes out. So yeah, those fenders just look really sweet. We have the moons and nut covers over top of those Alcoa rims as well on the back. And these are low pro 22.5s, 342 gears in the back end, sitting with a 40,000 pound Meritor, full locking diffs and disc brakes on the back end as well. Super dusty, going down the gravel road at like five kilometers an hour. It's tough to keep it clean, but makes for some really cool pictures. Over here, oh, uh, suspension, we have the four bag air ride, the AG 400 L suspension and a fixed fifth wheel with the no lube. So that's got that Teflon spacer up on top of the fifth wheel. This is a Merit deck plate. So this is aftermarket supplied and really nicely closes that off. It's heavy duty. And then we have the center mount connection there for all the airlines and quick coupler connectors for their specific application for what they do. Just gonna strap these down just a little bit better. There we go. Nobody needs that flying off. Ace toolbox here just for additional storage. Sometimes they will put storage inside the frame rails, but depending on how much room is between the rails, you may have to put one on the side. So that's how we did with this one. And just look at that paint, that metal flake is just shiny. Just popping, looks really, really good. Here's an additional fuel tank. So they're all lined up nice and ev evenly spaced as close as we could get the front and rear gaps, center fill. Additional, this is the polished DPF box on this side. And then up above here is the shift products, turn signal light, replacing the factory. So a few little touches on it, along on the air cleaners, we had nothing on the back side, but we did have on the front, the shift products glow light right there. So that is a blind glow light so that you can light up those air cleaners at night and make it look really sharp. Up above, we got the bow tie visor, as you can see. And then we have factory LEDs up on top. And then obviously the dual exhaust so that is the outside walk around let's take a quick look under the hood show you what's going on in there in that department so guys tell me uh is it worth it for me to bring these trucks off the dealership yard to different locations do you like when I go to different locations, kind of showcasing different parts of the Canadian prairies, or if you prefer them up front of our store. Certainly it's a lot easier for me to do them in front of the store, but I just get bored doing it the same spot over and over and over. So I'm just curious what your thoughts are. Let me know. Engines, 500 efficiency series, 1850 torque Cummins has an 18 speed manual transmission. You can kind of see that shifter way back in there going into the cab. We got the Davco 382 fuel water separator, remote lube terminal down below. Nice thing about the Davco 382 fuel water separator, those fleet guard filters are about a third of the cost of the alternative that uh, we can get from the factory. So I like to put those on. They're a better filter, but, or for the, for the engine in my opinion, and they're a lot less for down the road maintenance. You do pay a little bit more for them up front, but that's just my two cents there. We have the boosting terminals here. This is your air fill to fill up the truck with air. If you want to do a quick fill, power steering, oil fill, oil check. We got your coolant up above there. 
Here is the aftermarket installed positive air shutdown. So this just basically is an air guillotine, just starves the engine for air. So you do not have any engine running away on itself. Washer fluid up over there. We'll take a quick peek at the other side and man, what a beautiful night this is. Got the turbo, got the alternator accessories up front, HVAC system over there. And that is that. Front axle was lowered a little bit on this truck. I uh, forgot to mention that. So we have the changed U-bolts. I was just looking to see. So the U-bolts are changed out there and the spacer removed. So nice and dropped down. Because I was looking up front here with the hood closed and I was thinking, wow, this is sitting awfully low to the ground compared to what I'm normal normally seeing so really love the stance of this truck all righty so here we are inside this gorgeous cab diamond vit interior all throughout in the gray trim full gauge package as i like to set up and we have full switches there's your diff locks ride height for the suspension there is your, over here, your crews, your jakes, hazards, PTO switch, traction control, auxiliary lights for the air cleaner lights, and then your regen. Over here, some work lights on the back of the bunk. And then here is the interior cab lights. So I'll just turn those on for the tour. Standard tack right there. We have the leather wrapped steering wheel, which is always a nice feature. Here is window lifts, heated mirrors, fixed mirrors over there. So we just adjust them once and leave them mounted on the cab. So when the door opens and closes, you don't have to worry about the mirrors coming out of adjustment. Up above is the CB radio, as you can see right there. Let's turn on this light here up above so you can see that. And in the seating here, I got my camera set up on the seats, but these are the Sears ultra leather seats. So very wide. And then you have the option to have these stowable armrests that kind of flip up and out of the road or way whatever you want to say what do you say how about we go play down by the bay eating some hay <laughs> happy gilmore uh over in the bunk here this is the 72 inch aero cab flat top sleeper so some aftermarket modifications were already done to this truck here with this microwave unit that kind of holds it in place so just kind of a unique installation for setting that up and that's in front of the bunk door so you have the emergency hatch on that side this is kind of where the driver would would sleep essentially so uh, having the microwave right above your head might be a little bit intrusive on the back corner here this is the factory installed spar heater we have the lights as far as the fridge goes uh, on off for that and then there is the heater controls as far as lots of storage, as you can see, nice deep storage pocket here up above as well. we got nice storage in there and then storage all the way up above. That is a curtain for going around the windshield and the cab windows if you want to hide uh, from the world inside your truck. Down below here is open storage shelves down below. If you want to have that on a spec, you got to make sure that you specify sales code 8570000. Uh, when we order trucks for Jade, this is how they like to set it up. Over here, we have an additional storage shelf. This is the one that has the little flip out table. It flips out. Flips out. Woo! <laughs> So there you go. That's for uh, TV if a person wants to put that there. And then you have your fridge down below right here. Oh, it's locked. Nope, now it's unlocked. Now it's locked. Oh, so there's the fridge down below, as you can see. <coughs> More storage, little mirror. Hello. More storage up above. So there it is. There you have it. 
All right, so that's it for this week's video. Thank you so much for watching. I sure appreciate it and appreciate you being a part of this community. Hey, if you wanna really be a part of this community, please subscribe to my channel. Just click the link down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you are into that kind of a thing. Make sure you comment and share and tell all your friends about Andy the Kenworth guy because that would just make me happy. Thank you. Uh, hey, if you also want to check out my other social media sites, you can go up here to thekenworthguy.com and then you can see all the different platforms that I am on. Also, be sure to check out the guys at Jade Transport and you can also check out Shift Products and see what they all have to offer. And uh, yeah, so thank you so much for watching. And Larry, Kim, David, Jonathan, Greg, Jeff, everybody at Jade Transport, thank you all so much for your friendship, your encouragement, your business. Uh, you guys are just such great families to work with and I sure appreciate all the work we get to do together. So thank you. And that's it. So have yourself the world's best day. Sorry, I'm kind of in a mood here. A little kind of uh, out of uh, sorts maybe a little hyper. I've had a lot of pop today, so that's probably why. Okay, time to take some pictures, so that's it. We're, we're done, we're out, we're... Okay, stop talking. All right, bye. Peace.